everybody! Today we are reviewing Apple White Blam. Kill me now. So, her box is by far one of the prettiest boxes. And, no, it fell over. Let's see here. Um, it's got this beautiful spine here with a mirror of her and her royal stamp. It says Apple White, Daughter of Snow White, and a picture of Brooke Page at the bottom. Then on the front, it says Apple White at the top, and it's got an apple by her feet with the Ever After High symbol. Then you've got this beautiful spine, which is just, oh, it's beautiful. Then you've got this sort of parchment at the back with her description. You can pause the video if you like to read it, but let's see if I can zoom up here. So there is um, everything about her. You have her friends, which is Briar, Raven, and Maddie. I don't really know why Maddie's there. Um, then you've got her art, which I actually like the doll better for this one. She looks like, I don't know, her eyes seem really weird. I don't know. Then she's got this really cool keyhole, which is like a hole. I don't know why it's a hole, but still. Then it says, story included at the top, and Ever After High, and Are You a Royal or a Rebel? Then a description of Ever After High, and I think that's it. It says Ever After High here, and sort of like a page print. It's really cool. Anyway, let's get this doll open, shall we? Okay, well that's Apple out of the box, and well, time for a review. Okay, so immediately out of the box, we noticed that Apple has a serious gel problem. Like all of these little corkscrews, each one is got a whole ton of gel in it. And then this is where she was glued to the box and it's tons of gel. It's like it's so sticky and it's like it's 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 going to like her whole hair. I swear I'm I'm scared to actually brush this because it's seriously just going to frizz out and be super duper sticky. Then the headband doesn't properly stay. It wobbles all over the place and it fits perfectly if you put it in the middle, which it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be on the side, but it doesn't actually fit that way. Then her earrings, they pop off weird. Like, look at this gap between the earring and her ear at the back. Can you see? Yeah? Okay. Then, they look, they look like they're on the wrong ear, but I don't think they are. Then she's got this necklace, which is really pretty, and it matches all her other accessories. But then this is a jacket. It's not at all sewn onto the dress, which I thought was actually kind of cool, but it makes this dress fall down a lot. Then um, the actual dress is really pretty. It's like, wait, let's see. I can zoom this in a little. Um, okay, so she's got a red satin top with a black. Then, um, she's got this top, which, like, this sort of layer, it's like not go, it doesn't go all the way around, just on the top here, which is a light white and light pink, um, um, it's got a dark pink trim with light in the middle and white at the very top with a whole bunch of white curlicue designs on it, which is really quite pretty, with then a black it's the same all the way around except for the back, which is completely bare. Then um, underneath it is a red um, peplum with gold stenciled um, curly designs. And it poofs out a little, and I don't really know why, but I think it's just because a little it's a little stiff, the actual fabric. So then it just sort of poofs out. Then underneath she has regular black fishnets. See, just regular black fishnets. Then her shoes are really pretty and quite detailed. Well, not super detailed, but still. They're like sort of a cherry colored um, with next to no prints on the actual front. Then it goes up. It's got like a few little beads with sort of like this twirled sort of like hair all the way around with gold buckles and bows on the front. There's a cat back there, but that's Apple White, and honestly, I give her like a 6 out of 10 because of the hair and the earrings and the headband. So thank you for watching.